What's up guys? My name is Dale from Creator Pro website and in this video I'm going to show you how to add Google AdSense to your WordPress website. In a nutshell, Google AdSense is what you use to show ads to your viewers on your website. And why would you want to do this? Well, the main reason is because you can make a lot of money with your website especially if you've got tons of viewers every month. Because each time somebody clicks on one of those ads on your website, you get paid. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do it right now in just a few easy steps. Okay, so step number one is to sign up for Google AdSense. So if you don't already have a Google AdSense account, you can just click on the very first link in the description, or you can just go to google.com slash AdSense slash start. And then from here, we'll just go ahead and click on get started. Now, I already have a Google AdSense account, and you can only have one per person or one per business. But I'm going to walk through some of the first setup with you. So for the URL, I'm going to put in a secondary site that I have called createaprobusiness.com. But you would want to put in your main URL here. And then you can put in your email. And then we'll scroll down, and you can get helpful info from AdSense if you'd like. Uh, I recommend this because they'll send you some really awesome tips for putting uh, ads on your website and it'll hopefully increase the amount of money that you can make. And then just go ahead and click save and continue. And again, I already have an account set up for Google AdSense, so I'm not going to click it. But once you get your account set up, then we can go ahead and sign in. So again, back to this main Google AdSense page, we're going to go ahead and click on sign in. And then I'm just going to select my account. Password. Cool, and here we are inside of our Google AdSense dashboard. Now, step number two is to create a new ad unit. So to do this, just go on over to ads over here in the left-hand menu, and then just click on buy ad unit right here. And then we're gonna go with display ads right here. This is the recommended one. And here you can see an example of what a typical ad would look like. So now we're just gonna name it. So I'm just gonna call this ad unit one. And then we're gonna keep this as a square and then for ad size, we're gonna keep this as responsive. That way they'll resize to fit any space on your website. Okay, so now just go ahead and click on create. And now we're gonna be needing this code. So go ahead and click on copy code snippet. And now we can move on to step number three, which is to display the ad on your website. So I'm just gonna go over to my WordPress website and I'm inside the dashboard. And the easiest way to show you how to display an ad on your website is to do it in the widget area of the sidebar. So I'm going to go over to Appearance, and then go to Widgets. And then I'm just going to scroll down and select Custom HTML right here. And I'm just going to drag that to the top of my sidebar. And inside the Content window right here, I'm just going to paste that code, just like that. And now just click on Save. And then we can just close this window, and we're going to go up and view a post. So I'm just going to go over to Posts, and then go to All Posts. And then I'll just select a post and go over to View. And now, as you can see, there's no ad displaying right here, which is where it should be. This is my sidebar, but there actually is an ad displaying here. It's got a placement. If I hover over it, or sorry, highlight, this is where the actual ad will be. But Google needs about an hour or so to determine what type of ads it's gonna put on your website. It basically has to read your website and determine what content to serve. So don't be alarmed if you just see an empty space. In fact, if I just click over here and inspect, you can see right up here, Google Ads frame one, this is where our Google ad is gonna be. So now I'll show you how to insert ads into your actual posts, as well as how to automate them. So step number four, automate your ads. So let's just go up to our dashboard, and then I'm just gonna go down to plugins, and then go over to add new. And then over on the search bar on the right, I'm just gonna type in AdSense plugin WP quad. And then you'll see AdSense plugin WP quads right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and install now. And then click activate. Cool, and then it's gonna promote the WP quads pro to you, but really you can get by with just the free version just fine. So we're just gonna skip and go to settings. Cool, so now just scroll down. And here's where we can assign where we want our ads to show up. So if I were to click on the first one for assign random ads to the beginning of the post, then the ad would show up at the very top of our post. And you can change this to ad number one, and then you would wanna go into ads and actually add an ad in there, which I will show you how to do in just a second. 
but for the sake of explaining this section, let's just say you want to display random ads because you've made a bunch of them inside of your Google AdSense dashboard. You can also display them in the middle of your post, and it will do its best guess to determine where the middle of your post is and put one there, and then you can display them at the end of your post, as well as display them after the more tag. So more is when somebody were to click on the read more tag, it will put that just underneath that. And that's if you have that on your post. And then down below in these last four, you can determine if you wanna display them after certain paragraph numbers. So let's say that you have around 50 paragraphs. Well, then you can display one after the 50th paragraph. So you wanna use these settings at the bottom to exactly target where to display the ads on your posts. So I'm just gonna uncheck these and I'm just gonna leave one set at the beginning of the post and I'm gonna change it to add one because I'm gonna go in and make add one. Okay, scrolling down. Okay, and here you can determine the visibility of where you want your ads. So on the home page, categories and tags. And then if you check on this hide ads when user is logged in, then whenever you're logged into WordPress, you're not gonna be able to see your ads, which I don't recommend, because then you can't see where they're gonna be placed. So I highly recommend making sure that this is unchecked. And then from here, you're gonna determine where these ads are, whether it's on posts and pages, or so right now it's selected as both, or you can just do individuals. So in this case, I'm just gonna do posts, because my home page is technically a page, and I don't want it to show up on my home page. So I'm gonna make sure that this says post and then you can just skip the rest of these settings and click on save changes. And then we're just gonna scroll back up and we're gonna create ad number one. So let's go ahead and click on ads. And then we're gonna click on add one. And then here is where we're gonna put in that code that we copied from earlier from our AdSense dashboard. So with plain text, HTML and JavaScript, this is where you could put in any sort of commission-based code. And so it doesn't have to just be from AdSense, it could be from any other site or any other ad server. But in this case, we're doing AdSense. So we're gonna click on the AdSense button, and then I'm gonna click on copy paste AdSense code, and then I'm just gonna enter that in here. And then I'm just gonna say get code. And now in order to do a responsive ad, then you'll need the pro version of WP Quads. But I've found that if you just go to fix size, you can just type in a square value, like say 200 by 200, and that will work perfectly fine. And then you can determine where you want it to be aligned in your post, whether it's on the left, the right, or in the middle. In this case, I'll just say in the middle. And then margin is the amount of pixels of space around the ad. So I'm just gonna say 10. And now just go down to save changes down here. Cool, so now just going back to double check, we're gonna go to general and position and make sure that we've got assign add one to the beginning of the post. And then now let's just go check out our post. So I'm gonna scroll up and go to posts and then go to all posts. And then I'm just going to view my post. Cool, and now if I just scroll down, you can see that I've got a blank space here, and if I highlight over that, you can see the blue box, and this is where my ad is gonna be. So again, if you see the blank space, don't panic. Google AdSense needs around an hour, could be even longer to determine what type of content is being displayed on your page, and what ads that they should be serving up on your website. But if you're not sure where this box might be, you can also just go up to Ad Check up here, and then just click on show adverts. And then this will give you a box around where your ad is. And again, in this case, I have a square one, so it's actually gonna be a square, but it at least shows you where the ads will be displayed. And the ads will look something like this. So my main recommendation is just to randomize the ads on all of your blog posts. That way, Google AdSense will do its best to determine what type of ads to serve up to your viewers on your website based on your content. All right, guys, so that was how to add Google AdSense to your WordPress website. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that like button. YouTube's algorithm loves that stuff, and it helps my small channel grow. And if you want to see more videos on how to create amazing websites from scratch, as well as how to make money with your website, then please consider subscribing to my channel. You will not be sorry. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next video.